guys, today I'm going to do a Trader Joe's haul. This is a little bit different than a lot of the hauls I do because this is a grocery haul, but it's not just any grocery haul, it's Trader Joe's. I think Trader Joe's is such a happy store. They've got gourmet foods at excellent prices. Everything there is yummy. The people who work there are really into it. They're into food and if you ask them a question on anything, they will tell you and they'll even open a box for you so you could taste things. And when you're at the checkout, they are interested in what you're getting and they'll even tell you, yeah, this is really good. Have you tried it? And it's just a really fun experience. And not only that, you come home with some delicious food. So I want to show you what's in my Trader Joe's bag. They have these bags, which are great because they are reusable. You can purchase them and then you can just bring them with you every time you go there or even to any grocery store. And that way you don't have to use the disposable bags that they have. You can just keep reusing these. It's much better for the environment. And then you could just wash the cloth bags from time to time and it's just an all-around good thing to do. So I bought a bunch of different things. So I will get started with the things that don't have to be refrigerated. So when you first walk in, you go to the produce section and they have breads as well. So I picked up this ciabatta bread. This is their artisan bread, big fresh daily, and it is ciabatta, I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is delicious. I've had this before and you can create, you know, you can cut it and make sandwiches with it. You can make it, you could cut this into strips and serve it with dipping uh, oils, you know, do, do some uh, olive oil and make some dipping oil, or you could do a lot of things with it. So this is a delicious bread. If you've tried it, let me know. I know I, I highly recommend it because I've tried it before. And then I also picked up some pesto. This is their pesto a la Genovese. And this is a basil pesto. One thing I love to do, and it's such an easy, easy dinner, is make some angel hair with a little pesto and then some Parmesan cheese, and boom, you've got a dinner just like that. It's so easy and so delicious. I haven't tried this particular pesto yet, but I'll bet it's good because just about anything I've had there is really good. And I also picked up vanilla meringues. These are perfect for when you want something sweet and crunchy and you just don't want to go overboard. They're nice and light and they are just a perfect little snack. And when you don't mind going a little overboard with cookies, etc., I picked up these all butter shortbread cookies. These have apricot or raspberry filling in the middle and these are great. I actually got these because I have a neighbor coming over to look at some windows that I got installed because she might want to get some installed as well. So I want to have something to put on the table when my neighbor comes over because that's just the nice thing to do. So I have these ready. And along the same lines, you know, for the, just to put on the same plate, I also got some shortbread with chocolate filling. Uh, as you see, they have chocolate thumbprints in the middle and I'll bet these are good too. I have not tried these cookies yet, but I assume they're good. Shortbread is one of my favorite favorite kinds of cookies. And I thought I'd make some pizza. Trader Joe's has some really great refrigerated ready-made pizza dough. So I decided to try this one. This is the garlic and herb pizza dough. So it is a pizza dough that is already made. It's in a plastic bag. It's refrigerated. And all I have to do is roll it out and make the pizza. I cannot wait to try this. It smells so good. You could smell the herbs and garlic right out of the bag. This is gonna be awesome. I also picked up some pizza sauce to go with it and fresh mozzarella. This is ready sliced fresh mozzarella. I love this because the slices are thick enough yet thin enough for pizza. Fresh mozzarella is one of the most wonderful things on the planet. It's really good from Trader Joe's. The prices are really good and it's just, that place is such a good deal. So I cannot wait to make this pizza. I also needed some Parmesan cheese so I picked up a wedge of Parmesan and this is great. I like getting the wedge and shredding the Parmesan myself. Then I save the rind to put into sauce. So that's something that you might want to try. If you save the rind, you could even put it in the freezer and then you could put it in your sauce the next time you make pasta sauce. Trader Joe's also does an awesome job with frozen vegetables. I like to buy their fancier frozen vegetables because it just completes the dinner and just makes it a really nice experience. I got these fire roasted vegetables with balsamic butter sauce. Doesn't that sound awesome? I have not tried these yet. So let's see, what kind of vegetables are in here? It's got roasted red and yellow bell peppers, whole cherry tomatoes, baby baby carrots, haricots vert, I think those are green beans, onions and whole mushrooms with a roasted garlic peppercorn spice infused balsamic butter sauce. Yum! Doesn't this sound awesome? I think this will add 
to any meal. You're getting your vegetables, they're going to be delicious. And it's something, it's something easy that you don't have to do yourself. It saves time and I just think this is gonna be great. And then I also picked up this cauliflower Romanesco Basilique, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's got a bit of garlic butter in it and this just looks amazing. It's the description here is cauliflower and Romanesco dressed up with a bit of basil and garlic which turns these vegetables into a dish fit for the fanciest company. So yeah, these are, so it's cauliflower and Romanesco with garlic and butter, yum. This is also, just like the fire roasted vegetables, this will also make a nice completion to a meal and it'll just make the meal that much nicer. And you're getting your vegetables, getting your nutrition in there. And in addition, I got these country potatoes with green beans and wild mushrooms. They're, called, they're saying country potatoes with haricots verts, and I'm totally pronouncing that wrong, but it's green beans and wild mushrooms. So this will be delicious as well. This has, let's see, what kind of sauce is this? Well, who knows what kind of sauce it is, but this is another you know, fun, fancier vegetable that you don't have to do yourself. You know, you could probably even use this for company when you're having people over. If you're working a little harder on one aspect of the meal, you can make this and it can just add to the meal and make it nice. For a nice lunch, I picked up chicken and vegetable wonton soup. This looks delicious. The picture looks really good. It comes in a microwavable bowl, and I just think this would be a nice lunch. For me, lunch is kind of difficult. I never know what to have for lunch because I don't want something that's too heavy, but I also want something that I'm going to like that's going to satisfy me throughout the afternoon. So this looks like this might do the trick. And one of my favorite things from Trader Joe's is this frozen pizza. They've got really great frozen pizzas, so if you like frozen pizza but you like it a little bit fancier, go to Trader Joe's. The prices are really good and they have a really nice variety. This one is one of my favorites. This is the Trader Joe's organic wood-fired Sicilian style pizza. It's got red pepper, provolone, and pearl mozzarella cheese. And then it also comes with a little packet of olive oil that's got some seasonings in it that gives it a little bite. So you sprinkle that on when it's almost finished baking and it is just absolutely delicious. So if you're looking for a frozen pizza but better, try this one. One of my favorite one of my favorite flatbreads from Trader Joe's is this mushroom and black truffle flatbread. This is so good. I have had this before. I get it just about every time I go to Trader Joe's because I absolutely love it. This is so good. It's a flatbread with mushrooms, black truffles, and mozzarella cheese on top. And it's pretty thin, like when you get it out of the box, it's kind of thin, not that, not that big. It's probably the size of an individual pizza. So it's certainly enough for one person. And it is just so good. I've also had this where you can have, when you have guests over, if you cut it into smaller squares, you could serve it like on toothpicks or whatever. But it's just, it's an excellent little meal and this is so good. If you get this, you will probably get it every time you go to Trader Joe's as well. And this is a flatbread that I have not tried yet that I am excited to try. This is their burrata, prosciutto, and arugula flatbread. I have not seen this there yet, so I'm excited to try it. I love arugula, so I think this will be absolutely delicious. And one of my favorite snacks is spanakopitas. I usually like to get the little individual spanakopitas, but this is more like a pie. So I've also had spanakopitas served as a piece of spinach pie. So that is what this is. I remember I was at Trader Joe's the last time I was there, and I was trying to figure out which one I wanted to get. Did I want the pie or did I want the individual ones? But somebody who was working there, who was uh, doing some stock work uh, nearby, she saw me um, kind of mulling it over and she said, this one is really good. So I took her word for it and it is. It's really awesome. So I decided to get it again. They also do really well with their tarts. I love their savory tarts. This one is their tart au champignon with mushrooms, emmental, I'm probably totally pronouncing it wrong. It's essentially Swiss cheese and Parmesan cheese. And this is absolutely delicious. There is a restaurant um, in Atlanta that I love that has a mushroom tart and it tastes a lot like this. So this is really delicious. The price point is awesome. And I pretty much get this every time I go to Trader Joe's as well. And and this is a tart that I haven't tried yet that I thought I'd pick up. This is their Tarte de Alsace. And this one has ham, caramelized onions, and Gruyere cheese. I love Gruyere cheese, so I cannot wait to try this one. And one of my 
very favorite things about Trader Joe's is their frozen finger foods. Oh my gosh, they have the best frozen snacks ever anywhere. And so I had to pick up a couple of things. As you all know, I like to watch The Bachelor and Bachelorette and right now Bachelor in Paradise is on. So I like to make an event of it and have some nice little finger foods while I'm watching my favorite shows. So I picked up some mini beef tacos. These are delicious. A lot of them come in the box and I've had these before and I've served these at parties before and they're always a hit. And I also picked up these spinach and cheese stuffed mushrooms. I have not tried these before but they look absolutely absolutely delicious and these will be great too for when I'm watching Bachelor in Paradise and they're also great if you're having a party and you need some finger foods and so I would you know I think these will be really good pretty much any of their snacks from the frozen section are really good I remember having a movie night at my house once and a couple of my friends brought Trader Joe's appetizers and they were just they were such a hit everybody loved them and that's just something that my friends and I always do and and another favorite of mine from Trader Joe's is their frozen desserts. The frozen section is awesome. They have great appetizers, great snacks, and great desserts. So I never leave the store without picking up some cookie butter cheesecake. Oh my gosh, have you ever had these? If you ever try this, you will not leave Trader Joe's without buying a pack of these. I absolutely love them. It's made with their signature cookie butter. If you like their cookie butter, if you like cheesecake, these are awesome. And the nice thing about them is they're little bite-sized desserts. So if you just have one piece, that might be all you need. They're quite rich. You might need two pieces sometimes. If you're gonna ask me what my very favorite thing at Trader Joe's is, I would probably say this. Now, now, Trader Joe's also has some really delicious frozen macarons and I picked up these these are a dozen macarons and they're in a variety of flavors there are different flavors here they're fig lemon apricot coconut pistachio and salted caramel I think the pistachio ones are my favorite but actually they're all really good and macarons are so pretty they make me happy and they also have mango macarons all summer long they've had mango everything kind of like in the fall they have pumpkin everything in the summer they had mango everything so they have mango macarons and these are absolutely delicious I've had these before and since they still had them I picked them up I don't know how much longer they're going to have them because everything is going to turn into pumpkins soon for fall so I thought I'd pick up some more mango macarons and another thing I love from Trader Joe's is these mini pies this is the mini pie medley and it's got strawberry blueberry and peach pies and they're just they're just little pies that are about that big and you, you if you do like two at a time it just makes a nice little dessert you could do these for a party or if you just have them in the house and do two at a time for your dessert they're really really good I highly recommend them I think my favorite in this is the blueberry and finally at the checkout I couldn't go through the checkout with picking up some dark chocolate covered almonds. I always pick up a little packet of these. It's, a, it's in a small little bag. They have a bigger container, but I just like to get the small bag. And it's just a nice little treat that I love. Almonds are good for you. Dark chocolate is good for you. So I just love these. They're just such a great treat. I couldn't leave without getting these green tea infused mints. The main thing that I liked about them was that the mints are leaf shaped. They're so cute. I just had to get them. And you should always have some mints in your purse or in your desk drawer, wherever you go and that is my Trader Hauls mm -hmm. and that is my Trader Joe's haul gee I hope I got enough in any case let me know in the comments below what your favorite Trader Joe's foods are I know we all have our favorites so let me know what I should try next time I go and if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel to be first to know about all of my lifestyle fashion and beauty videos and I will see you all next time bye